Hey guys, in this video, I am going to share with you Ripcord by iFly, which is a flight experience that you can uh, simulate the experience of uh, basically doing skydiving, um, but on a cruise ship. So we are on Royal Caribbean's um, Ovation of the Seas, and they had this experience as well as some of the other ones that you've probably seen on other Royal Caribbean ships. But this one wasn't actually on the Symphony of the Seas or Harmony of the Seas. This is specific to, I think, Ovation and a few others. But um, I wanted to kind of talk through the experience and show you what the experience looks like uh, right before this what I did was um, as soon as we got checked in to um, the ship right we went through the entire process the Royal Caribbean app actually allows you to reserve some of the experiences and you should reserve them fairly quickly um, once you get on uh, the ship um, as long as you know the itinerary uh, we try to do it on um, days where we were at sea and so we did uh, I fly on the second day where we were still traveling to Alaska and there weren't any uh, port of calls so uh, we had our five-year-old and seven-year-old um, experience it and then obviously you can see in the background here that there were older uh, folks that also joined in and so um, we had an instructor that um, had us actually sign in, um, basically waivers for our kids, even though we weren't flying ourselves. And then they had to watch a safety video so that they could learn some of the hand movements. Um, so it was about a minute or two video, wasn't bad at all. And then he also talked about his background on skydiving and using these simulators, which is pretty cool. So um, in this video, you can see my uh, boy is seven years old and my little girl is five years old. And they were really excited for the experience, kind of nervous, but they were excited and so they definitely helped them out in terms of um, picking out the right suit and then um, adding you know earplugs and then glasses and helmets and I think that the kids had a blast I think my husband and I got a kick out of just watching the little ones just fly around in this <laughs> glass cylinder okay so uh, ripcord by iFly on the ovation of the seas is on deck 16 in the aft and so um, what we did was we just went in on uh, the time that we reserved and then uh, we did the video, did the waivers, all that good stuff. Then we headed upstairs where they were able to actually do two flights each. Um, the kids absolutely loved it. My little girl who's normally scared of everything wasn't scared of this skydiving um, simulator, but overall it was great. Uh, the kids had a blast. I had a blast just laughing at them and how ridiculous they looked in their um, uniforms and their helmet gear and stuff. One of the the first things that happened was that the instructor actually uh, did their own um, little performance before um, they got all the other uh, students involved. In so when you actually get to um, the aft on the 16th floor of the Ovation of the Seas, you have to make sure that you've removed all loose articles, which includes jewelry, wallets, phones, any loose change that might fall out. They have a little cubby area that you can put all that stuff in, but I would highly keep it in your uh, stateroom if you can. Um, you shouldn't be wearing swimsuits there. Everything must be dry. And um, so my kids wore shorts or long sleeve um, shirts to uh, do the iFly thing. And the experience, I will say, as compared to the ones that are in the metro areas the cylinders are a little bit bigger in the bigger metro areas but this one's smaller and so they have like certain um, height and weight restrictions um, the age is minimum of three years old and then the height restriction is that anyone that is over six feet tall they have to weigh 250 pounds or less and then weight restriction says the same thing any uh, guests that are less than six feet tall must weigh less than 230 pounds. So just a heads up there on uh, basically whether or not you can do it based on your height, weight, and age limit. There are also times where you can actually get a complimentary flight um, that is generally during uh, days where people are in the port and so there's no one on the ship and so I think that's why they offer it for free during those times. So if you plan on not getting off at one of the ports, I would recommend uh, booking it then because that's when you'd actually be able to see uh, more availability for the iFly on Ovation of the Seas. So this is like the second flight. It's hilarious just to watch my five-year-old daughter just do it and um, the, the instructor was amazing. I forget what his name is, but he was phenomenal. And you see those lights in the back that kind of tells you like the countdown uh, for like a minute. And so it'll start flashing whenever the minute's almost over. And there's also a photographer there. Um, he's generally on the right. I don't know if you can see in the corner there um, taking photos. So if you bought like um, the memory pass, photo maker, whatever they call it, um, you can actually make sure that you tell them that um, you kind of want to know uh, whether or not they could add it right then so that they can add your room 
photo number in otherwise like you'll have to go to the photo area and then pick out the photos um, based on the time that you went so i hope you guys found this helpful if you guys have any questions at all on my experience of ovation on the seas or questions i can help answer feel free to leave a comment below and i will do my best to try thanks guys